I'm John Blackstone here at Mac World, the showcase for all things Apple. The big attraction here right now is encased in a plastic tube back there, surrounded by an admiring crowd. It's Apple's combination iPod, cell phone, and internet device. It's a sleek aluminum and stainless steel creation. A cell phone doesn't have any buttons, just a touch screen. Just the way the iPod changed the way we think of music, Apple's phone may change the way we think of cell phones. Apple executive Phil Schiller showed me how it works. First of all, you can just start dialing any number you want with a simple you know, touch screen pad, very easy to do. But more importantly, it syncs with your computer all of your contacts. So everyone you know is in here with all their numbers, and I can simply scroll through them and find them. Or I so fast. You can do a fast scroll away. Sure, you can just with your finger flick up and down the list and find whoever you want to talk to. And I want to call someone, I just touch their name, and I see their numbers, their home number, their work number, whatever I want to call. I just touch it and start dialing it. And it's now calling. And that call. And if I want to check my voicemail, I just click voicemail. And we have something entirely new called visual voicemail. I can now go to any voicemail I want. I don't have to listen to each one in order to get to one. So if I want to hear this fifth one, I just click on it, and it will start playing that voicemail for me. So visual voicemail works really well. So it's the most advanced phone ever made and easy to use, too. But that's just one of many things it does. Not just a phone. I mean, it's a computer. Well, uh, but people don't think of their phones as computers, but there's a lot of high technology in here that does some amazing things. So in addition to being the world's most advanced phone, it is the best iPod that we've ever made. So if I just click the iPod button, I'm now in my music. I can look at it in many different ways. I can look at it by artist and, again, just touch the screen to flick up it and go to any one I want to listen to. I just click on that artist. And then I can see their albums, and I can click on any song I want and just start playing it. So, so you start playing it there, the album cover comes up? Exactly. The now, album cover what comes happens up if, you, if, you, if you turn that? Uh, that's great. If you turn it, we have a sensor in it that automatically notices the rotation and puts you into a mode called cover flow mode, where I can now flick across through my albums and pick any album I want, see the songs on it, select one, and just start playing it. Click it back. You can hear it coming off the speaker, but of course I'll have stereo headphones on it as well. So it is the most advanced iPod that we have ever made. And not just a phone and an iPod. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> not just a phone, but also an iPod. And now if I go back, in addition to that, it's the most advanced internet communication device. So I can go in and read my mail. And I have mail, and I have it right in here. I can just click on any mail, and it reads the settings from my computer. So it has all my mail set up in here for what are called IMAP and pop servers, and I can read my mail. In addition to reading mail, I can go in and surf the web. And we're live on the internet right now in an advanced browser. I can double click on any story to zoom in on it and read it. Well, let's see, um, let's see, let's see the photos. Uh, let's sure. see the photo features. And let's how go you back can, into the photo application. Those. So here are here I am in my photo. I can look at my whole photo library. I can go to photos on different albums I've inputted from my computer. And I can see the photos. And again, if I turn it, it automatically rotates so I see it full screen. And you can also change the size of that picture? Or oh, absolutely. Let's get to, here's, for example, two boys sitting on a tree. If I want to see them better, I can just grab it and s s zoom them in and position them. <laughs> Bring it back to its size. Go back to all my photo albums. For a few months, this may be about as close as you can get to Apple's new iPhone. It will go on sale in June for $499. John Blackstone, CBS News, Macworld in San Francisco.